Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 65. Inside this video, we will continue our CRUD application and inside this video, we will create the layout of Add Device page. So if I back to browser, in the last video, this is the List Devices page what we had created. Right now, these are static data. So when we click on this Add Device, look here, we are on the route of Device forward slash Create. And right now, we have a static message. So inside this page, we need to create a layout. In that layout, we will have two different fields, a name, a submit means a status and a submit button. So for that, again we are going to use the bootstrap panels and inside that panel, we will have a bootstrap form. So back to editor, open about the controller called app http controllers this is our device controller and here we have the static method means static message so what i will do return view and to create a view file we need to go inside resources folder views folder here we have a cut folder and inside this we need to create let's say device dot blade dot php let's add add hyphen so successfully we have created our add device page now we need to bind this add device blade template here inside this view so first we need to go inside crud folder and then we should have a file called add device now back to this template file so inside this template file now we need to create a bootstrap panel or area and inside that area we will have a form. So why not actually I am going to copy this index layout. So I will copy last video step by step we have seen that how can we create the listing page. So I will copy all the code go inside this add device and paste it here. Keep in mind we had created a layout.blade.php and inside this layout file we have two dynamic placeholders one inside this yield called title which is for the page title and the second inside this section called body which is going to render the dynamic body content so that's why inside this inside each of the layout what we have created for the CRUD application here we have a title in which we have placed a title so in case of add, this is not list devices, it will be something add device. Now next we have a body and inside this body again we have the add device as the h2 title. Inside this panel body, here we have add device. So if we go and reload this page, now as we can see we have a add device page, add device label and inside this button we need to change from add device to let's say list devices so back to editor so here inside this anchor tag first of all let's change the label name so it will be something list devices and the next we need to change the route so if we want to change the route first of all back to terminal because we need to look over the named parameter of that route and let's say that inside this setup, I am typing php artisan let's route list. Now when we see inside this list, let's make some zoom. So inside this route list, as we can see if we want to hit device controller index method, we need to call this get request device URL with the name parameter called device.index. So I will copy this device.index, go here and instead of device.create, it will be something device.index. This device.index will call the method called index from device controller and inside index method, we had written the code for list devices page. So back to editor, all we had done for the label, so go and reload this page now as we can see we have list devices so when we click on that 
we are on the list devices page. Again click on add device, perfect. Now inside this add device page, now we need to make a form instead of this using a table here. So back to w3schools.com. Here inside this, find bootstrap forms. So I am clicking on that. Here we have several multiple examples of form. So I am going to put or let's I am going to copy a form something bootstrap horizontal form. So for this form, here is our code. So I will copy this form back to editor. So instead of table, I am going to remove that. I have removed all the table code from here. So if I go and reload, we have the empty page. So now I will copy the form and paste it here. So if I save, reload and as we can see that we have a form with the email field, password, remember me and button. So according to our need, we need to customize this form. So we want a name field, a status and a submit button. A status input field will be a select drop down with two different values called active and inactive. So back to editor. So for the first input element, we want the name value. So here we need to customize, let's say name. Instead of email, it will be text type. So here will be enter name. So for the first input, everywhere I changed name. And in the last, we had a email here. Now next, we have passwords. So I'm going to remove Next, we have a remember me button. I will remove that. So instead of BTN, BTN default, we want BTN, BTN success. Now what I will do, I will copy this first div element pasted here. Now instead of name, we want status. So now next, we need to change everywhere inside this area with the name of his status because this is for the status field. So status, copy paste, but keep in mind, this is not an input element. Instead, we'll have a drop down. So select, we don't have any ID right now. So let's say class, form control. This is a bootstrap class and inside this name field, I am passing a status attribute. So here, let's option. So the first option, we will have one value which indicates active value. In the next, I will copy, let's say inactive and which is for the zero value. So if I save all these changes, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that we have a name input field and a drop down. And this is the submit button. One more thing we need to set inside this video that is inside this form, we don't have any CSRF token attached and also we have a static action URL. So here we need to change the action URL as well as to get rid of the CSRF error, we need to include the CSRF token inside this form. So back to editor, go here inside this form and inside this we are going to use CSRF directive to use CSRF token. So if I do save, go and reload. Now as we can see that inside this form, we have a input type hidden field with the token value. Now next we need to change this static action URL. So get rid of that. We will use route helper function. So route and inside this, what we have to pass. So to see the list of routes back here, again go into the list called PHP Artisan route list. And inside this, as we can see, we need to hit the device URL with the post request type and the name parameter for this we have called device.store. And this route will call the store method inside this device controller. So I will copy this device.store back here. 
and pasting it here. Again back to device controller. So when we will submit any form, it will call this div means store method. As we can see, here we have a request instance. So for now, if I pass let's say print r request and all. So if we save all these changes, go and reload this page. So let's pass device 1 status let's say inactive click on submit and also I think one more attribute we need to add inside this form that is method type and it will be post so again go inside this route reload the speed so here we have device 1 status is inactive submit and as we can see that we have a token status I think name attribute is missing inside this input type text so name equal to name because inside this input type hidden field means in inside this input type name field we don't have any name parameter so go and again reload this page so here we have device it's active submit so here we have the token value name value that is device when we have passed and the status so in the next video, we will save our data inside our devices table and also we will set a flash message and a redirection. So successfully guys, inside this video, we have now created one more layout that is for the add device. In the last video, we have created for the list devices. So step by step, we are in the playlist to complete this CRUD application. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.